Welcome back. Before you stress up the groove, the energy. Let's go. It is <laughs> seven in the morning right now. We have no business to be up. But we're here. Enjoy the show. What are you doing here, bro? What's up? What's up? I change my number on you. About to make a deal, you know? <laughs> hey, what happened? What happened, Brian? Hey, don't, don't get this on camera. It's funny because I always did the exact same thing on that curve too, and I was like, oh shit, we can just go longer term. We can fix this, right? We can just like. I don't know. I, I, you know, we might be going Miami. There's gonna be lots of like car car dealerships out there. So we bought that out. <laughs> what game are you watching? Man? Manchester City. Dude, West Ham. Man City is winning the EPL. Don't say that. It's too soon. I think so too. I think so, right? <laughs> um, yeah, we're uh, 15 minutes out, so I'll be there, I'll be there in a bit. Yeah, he is. It everything you've done, I get it, the life is good, that's a lot. I went too hard for it, no, I need it, beat it, oh, you mess up the mood. Alright guys, gonna do a quick voiceover because the music was so damn loud and I don't want to get copyrighted. But I'm gonna go over some plays that we made over the weekend, which was not very many, but we'll go through it. The first one was a Christian Pulis' 2016 Select Field Level PSA 9. The gentleman was asking for $175. I offered $145. We settled on $155. Cool guy. Um, it was actually a little bit over comps, which I do not recommend. That was actually a mistake I made. I was just like, I gotta buy something if I'm gonna be here. But I like that card. American prospects, they always get hyped. Look at Giovanni Reyna, he has not been playing. And yet his prices still go up. The second play I'm going to talk about is these gentlemen right here. Really cool guys. Had a lot of sealed wax, man. We bought two 2017 select hangers for $90 each. Huge deals. Honestly, I think we should have bought more. They said they had more, but like um, we bought one to rip. And then we also bought one to hold. I think the last sales were like $150, $125. So it's not too bad. Um, the reason why we ripped one is because we really want to salvage this trip, our Miami trip. And, you know, I was actually kind of disappointed, you know, really disappointed because, you know, this is the courtside show. I understand that it's a basketball um, show, but I sometimes you always find that one or two guys that has actual soccer cards, and we just didn't have that, and it was really disappointing. And, and when someone did have soccer, um, one thing I noticed is that they really overpriced it. You know, soccer is so hot that these guys, um, I'm name, I'm not gonna name any names, but like you know, they're quoting these prices that are way over comps. I mean, somebody was asking. Like with no subgrades, a an, an autografo for like twenty two thousand dollars, nine point five. I'm just like, what the heck is going on right now? So that's just kind of like the state of the soccer card market. Not all was lost though. You know, we got to meet a lot of cool people. We got to meet Aaron from Slap Socks, so that was really dope. Tall as hell. I mean, I don't know what's up with all these influencers being super tall, but hey, that's what it is. Hey guys, we have Aaron from Slapstock. Yeah. See, y'all know about him. You're in Miami. What do you think about the soccer market right now? Dude, you know me. I love the soccer market. I, I tell you all, I got into soccer because I thought it was undervalued. Once it got to the value of that, I was like, you know what? So many other people know stuff about it other than me. Let me give it to guys like you. Sunday League Investors, <laughs> no, Ryan, Luigi, Bob. You guys are the best. And I'm telling you what, guys. The soccer market over the next year and a half, I think it's going to be one of the biggest markets. Outside of basketball. Basketball is my thing. I love basketball. But you look and there's no more fans out there than there are for soccer. And the events that are coming up, biggest events in the world. Like, how can you deny that? And once people overseas get the accessibility to the sports cards, like, Game and grading, over. grading. Game over. Because once PSA introduces overseas grading, it's going to get way bigger, way faster. It's going to be huge. Think about how much grading did for the investor and the collector in the U.S. Replicate that overseas. I, I think it's huge. 
Yo, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. much. One thing I do want to recommend, or one thing I want to kind of take note of, is definitely never take granted, take for granted, like kind of like your local cart show that's like within like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, because like we thought for some reason going to Miami, which is four hours away, uh, would be a lot better, but like it just wasn't, you know. And Tampa was such a great, great show that like now I'm just like, man, I got to go to the Tampa show whenever I can. So that's one thing I would definitely say is don't take your local cart show for granted. And as I'm saying this, I'm going to Texas. <laughs> this weekend but hey it's, it is what it is but we still had a lot of fun and that's really what it's all about having having a lot of fun but you know at the end of the day i'm not gonna lie i'm a little disappointed about not making really good deals we were bringing heat i know luigi was licking at the chops or ch chopping at the bits to try to make a deal and that didn't happen but stay tuned though we're gonna be opening the select hanger box to let you guys see what we got and yeah just enjoy the show hey so we're gonna rip some cards right now guys What's up, Seatown Slabbers? What's up, Apex? Yo, let's try to hit this. Let's make this trip worth it. We drove four hours for this. Anything? Carly Lloyd. Carly Lloyd, okay. Nico Modric. Cool. Roberto Firmino. Maria. Oh, what is that? Javier Pastor and Fernando Suarez. Oh, no, 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 Okay, all right. <laughs> All right, guys. So we drove four hours <laughs> for nothing. What, what, what's our hit card? What's our chase card? What's our chase card? At least you got Firmino, no? You got Firmino. So we drove four hours. Hey, best car in the pack, though, right there. Hey, we're Carly Lloyd, though. We drove four hours, guys, to get this. So ecstatic. The vlog's gonna be up probably next week. You're gonna see what we've been getting. Yo, Kevin's in here. What's up, Kevin? But uh, we just ripped some select. But uh, we're gonna go home now. A long four-hour drive. <laughs> so excited. What's up? What, what's up, Hector? Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, right? What, you, what scenario are we in right now? Hey, we're just here. We're, we're here. here. We're here. We're showing up. But hey, guys, make sure to rate and subscribe. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. It's all worth it. Yeah, I think I saw the sunset this morning. I ain't gonna lie. It's all worth it, man. It's all worth it. We're gonna look back one day and be like, yo, what the fuck were we doing in Miami? <laughs>